Stargard International Artist and owner of Stargard Art. Today is the final day with uh, this piece here. The owners are coming over today and they're gonna paint part of it. You guys have seen Mark and Kimberly in previous videos and um, Mark used to weld and things like that and they're just neighbors here. And um, not only is he a veteran, but he's just a super cool guy. He is in a wheelchair and just recently he's gotten a super cool all-terrain um, wheelchair, and I'm so excited to share that with you. I love this thing. This is the best pair of legs you could have. My goodness. <laughs> it is fantastic. So cool. Uh, it's just mm -hmm. it's amazing the places you can go. Uh, it's just fantastic. Have you ever wondered how artists create their art forms? If you're up for it, I'll take you with me through my artistic process from beginning to end of projects with my Looking Into the Light series, sparking that light of inspiration and creativity inside of you is possible when you open to it. Join me in handcrafting an extraordinary life by joyfully creating with the light. I'm Jay Stargard, international artist and owner of Stargard Art. Okay, you guys, this is Mark and Kimberly. And you're coming over to work on the project and you have an amazing chair. Do you, what is it called? It's called the uh, Action Track Chair. Action so Track. It's a track standard model. It's made up in a place called Marshall, Minnesota. Wow, and how did you get it? We got it through a, um, a group called the Allegiant Giving Fund. They are down in uh, Lachlan, California and they do charitable donations and their goal is to actually donate as many action track chairs as they can to disabled veterans. I'm a, a former Air Force captain and I have been diagnosed with ALS and the Legion Giving Fund found out about me and said they wanted to donate a chair to me. It's like my pair of work boots and hiking boots, all in one. Just a fantastic piece of artwork. Can't wait to see the whole thing done. I know, and they're modifying, so we're gonna add to a little bit. So we're gonna get some leaves in there and a dragonfly, dragonfly. and we're gonna pick colors because we haven't picked yep. our color for our dragonfly. And the chair was amazing because it could just maneuver and mark out the stand, and that just is awesome. Yep. Super good. There's, All right. It's okay. a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yep. Yay! There you go. Finishing up this piece running out 25 leaves at least, if not more, and a dragonfly and get this baby done. Calvin's gonna be helping me in the shop today too. I'm finding another step of healing as I go through and re-engage in my shop. So my hand is doing amazing. I'm grinding, um, I'm hammering, I'm doing all sorts of things, but occasionally I run into some carnage that was left over, the blood and things like that, and I just ran into some um, over in the other corner of the shop, and I realized that I need to reprogram my mind. Um, so every time I run into one of those things, I am reprogramming it and reminding myself what I have received from the entire process. And um, so focusing on faith in my heart, everything is always working out for me. And the energy that creates worlds flows through me. I am a creator at my core. So 
what's done is the dragonfly is on. We have created all the leaves. Job is to get all the leaves on and um, get that cleaned up, painted, patinaed, and off for install. working in my shop for years now and um, he really took a, a huge part of this project on so he's just going to share a little bit about what he's done on it and um, as we're prepping for install today. When I started it was just the ring branches and some flowers so I did all of these leaves, made them, plasma cut them, welded them, polished them up and then set them onto the branches and polished all the sculpture after that, painted welded some more and sealed it all. What was your favorite part about the project? Uh, practicing TIG welding. Fixed the texture on all of it. We repainted, we patinaed the dragonfly, and now Calvin is doing the final seal. We also um, will do one more seal on the bottom bucket right here. Um, because we re-textured and colored and made that really pretty too. So we came over with the test fit with their bird feeder thing today and everything's good. So we are, we went over to the house and um, used the anti-rot stuff on the wood. So we're ready to go. Okay, it's all up, installed, all set, ready to go. What do you think, Calvin? It's great. What a beautiful piece, we, we couldn't be happier. Thanks so much, Jay. cages for offers. That's what you like to work on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he makes crazy vehicles and competes at school with them, so it's pretty cool. <laughs>